dinosaurs. I was like, here you fucking go. Of stupidity. We're back again, and uh, as you've noticed last time, we didn't make mention of it, but we want to give a big shout out to Clayton Hess at Summer Mountain Tree Services for crafting this amazing looking table that we have here. And uh, on top of that, we've also got a big uptick in our quality of video, and we should hopefully have audio worked out here as we move along, you know. Uh, here at the State of Stupidity, we're really working on our infrastructure as we go. You know, we're trying to make sure we keep things running, but also work on improving them as we go instead of just getting too comfortable with how things are or just letting the, the those types of things fall to the wayside. But uh, speaking of infrastructure, I think you had some things you wanted to discuss about that. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the bridge collapsed, but obviously that had nothing to do with infrastructure. That was, I mean, a, a bad driving, but it yeah. just brings to the to forefront, you know, how bad the roads in Pennsylvania are. And now you're talking about the I-95 collapse. Correct. Yeah. yeah. With, with the truck accident. Yeah. You know, the, the state of Pennsylvania, our, bridge, our bridges are a decade older than all the other states around us. Okay. So, you know, how are we, you know have the highest fuel tax in the country now. Right. Last year, we were ranked number three. This year, we are ranked number one. Yeah. 61.1 cents of every gallon of, of gas we buy. That sounds like politicians know how to do their job. Goes to the, yeah, it goes to the state. <laughs> and, and then an additional 78 cents on every truck, that, every gallon of diesel goes to the state. Yeah. You know, they collected $5 billion last year. $5, five billion. billion dollars. $5 billion. Collected. Of the $5 billion, only three point six billion actually went to the roads and bridges. Right now, you know, I was always told that the fuel tax went to take care of the roads and bridges. That so makes sense. Where is the other one point four billion at? Right, that's that's a big chunk of money to just fall by the wayside. That's a lot of money, and then yeah. you know the the they're saying they got a, they're eight billion underfunded. Right. So if there's a you know we're underfunded by eight billion, why are we stealing a billion six or billion four and mm -hmm. For side projects, right? That that's what like that's what it is. The funds, yeah. You know, on the state level, you know, the federal government takes the the Social Security money that's supposed to be our retirement. And they yeah. they pull that off on their side projects, but the state, I mean, you know, our bridges are rated D plus, our roads are C minus. Right. I mean, we got the second highest number of deteriorating bridges. But we're, yeah. where's the? But we yeah. have the high. We bring in the most money. Right. As far as you know, percentage wise on on gas tax. So we're. Where's the money at? Right. How are we spending the money? I mean, somebody needs to be held accountable for this. And it can't just be, well, we contracted this company and they didn't provide us with the proper amount. No, you guys have that much money. You guys should be going for the, the, the company that's going to provide the best service since apparently PennDOT is not that service. I mean, uh, most of the roads around here aren't being worked on by PennDOT. They're being worked on by second or third company, third party companies that uh, then are just, we, we throw the money to them and then you, you see the quality we get. Yeah, well, I mean, the problem is PennDOT really doesn't, they try to maintain the roads. They're not really doing any roads. But the problem too, you know, we're going with the cheapest bidder. Right, but think, now- what do you, you, what do you get for the cheapest bidder? Well, you get you you're get not going to get something that's going to last. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get cheap quality. Well, and and again, in in my state career, uh, that was always the lowest bidder is who the state goes with. They they save the buck for themselves, and it goes into somebody's hands. You, you know what I mean? And the they other, always try to squeeze. The other problem with that is, you know, all the union people are going to get upset, but these jobs are all union jobs. Yeah. They're getting paid double, if not triple, what the average average company, you know, out, out in the real world, the average company that doesn't do state or federal work right. can do that job for probably a third of the price. Right. Saving a ton of, of tax money. And it's going to be done way better. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's no doubt about it. I mean, half those guys, you got people running equipment that, that never ran equipment before. They have very little experience running equipment. Right. You know, you got guys paving roads that might have done it for... A month or two, or maybe three months. But there, and then, then you got a lot of guys that have been there their whole life. 
because they're union, and even if they, they're terrible at their job, they right. still have it. Oh, well, that was just it. It's the, the state uh, goes on seniority based promotions. So it didn't matter who was the best fit for a job. It just mattered years of service. Yeah. And so they would look over a, a much more qualified candidate if there was any kind of uh, state service and you know, that, that's in the, any field. That's exactly. That's the problem you have with any government or union job. Yeah. You're not paid for performance. Right. You're paid if you, if you were able to stick it out and deal with all the bullshit. Right. Then, and, then you can get a raise. But whether you can do the job right or not, we don't really care about that. Exactly. We just want to make sure you're here long enough. And if you do screw something up, don't worry. We're going to protect you. Exactly. And yeah. that was just it. I mean, yeah. Uh, the unions, the way it's set up is, like, the, in theory, of course, it's all rainbows and sunshine in theory. Oh, yeah. Like, a, a union is there to prevent any kind of harassment or ill will. And, but, and to keep, you know to keep you safe. That's the, they started back when the mine, you know, the mining industry was a big part of that because right. they work. They, I mean, they just well, they, they were using kids. They work them. They, they were using exactly. kids back then, and they didn't care about them. So you know, the union was started out like anything always starts out. It starts out good, right? And but then, then the corruption always, takes over. exactly. Then the yeah. corruption takes over, and the only you know the union the union president or boss is making all this money yeah. off of all this union dues these guys are paying, yeah. and they're 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 funneling it to the political party they want to. Well, and it's just it's your modern day mafiosas. It's it's pretty it's, much exactly. Yeah, it's just it's le- types it's, of crime. Fans. It's legal extortion. Exactly. That's all. They it just is. do it in the sunshine instead of having to do it in in the shadows now. Yeah, you know, and getting back to the infrastructure, you know, they want all these electric cars. Yeah. And they want all these energy, you know, all these fuel efficient cars. Yeah. Now they're crying because. Well, we're not getting as much gas tax because these cars are so much more efficient. Yeah, so yeah, people yeah. aren't buying as much fuel, and they're getting ze- absolutely zero gas tax from uh, an electric vehicle. Okay. Now they're proposed. They they had a proposal to uh, charge everybody that has an electric car two hundred ninety dollars a year to make up for <laughs> the, the lost fuel rev the fuel lost fuel revenue. Well. You know, they probably should make them pay something because they're using the roads. Right. But here's the thing. I don't know where they came with the $290 number because the math I did, it shouldn't be it shouldn't be less than over 500 Right. Because $290 is like six six or 7,000 miles a year you're putting on. The average person is <laughs> doing like 10 to 12. So exactly. Where they're coming up with the 290 I think, is a little on the low side. Well, that's because that's most of them have already upgraded to it, so they don't want to oh, hurt that, their own pocketbook. Yeah, and, and they don't want to scare the people from buying an electric vehicle. Exactly. That's what it comes down to. You know, they they want to push this great idea, but they don't want they don't want. Why should the ga- people running gas vehicles pay for it all? Right. And the other thing is that you know, and another thing they pro- they proposed, they said it's not going to happen within the next five to ten years, is just stripping the gas tax completely yeah. and charging you by mile. Like right, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah, eight yeah. point, they said eight point one was the preliminary number, but so anything they talk about doing, yeah. you know, is going to happen. Oh yeah, they're just giving you the little, hey, Tease. we might yeah. do this, and let's we'll see how upset you get. Especially but, if it's to fuck you, know, you over. My exactly. My first question is, okay, so they're going to charge this. How are they going to verify how many miles you drove? Right. That's so then they're going to want to put in well. um well, all, all of the newer vehicles are all electronic. So, yeah. I mean, that would be as easy as putting in a software upgrade well, to be the, able to give them... So, they, have, they, they said they have two options. Yeah. One's let the, inspe- you know, the inspection stations report it. Okay. Which, that's going to be a disaster. <laughs> yeah. Because who's going to collect it? Exactly. So, you got that. And the other one was what you're saying. They want to put a GPS in everybody's car. Right. Well, I don't know about you, but I don't think... I, I don't want them... I don't no. want them GPS in everywhere I go. It's none no. of their business. No. That's just nothing to hide, yeah. but nothing to yeah, get. nothing to have exactly. Yeah. But I'm not yes, and I'm not. You're not going to follow me around and see what I'm doing. That, that's ridiculous, right? You know. And here's what else I love. You know, they talk about the the eight point one cents okay. a mile. What about all the people that don't have cars yet? They're getting deliveries and they're buying this and they're buying that and it's getting delivered to their house. Well, how's that stuff getting to their house? Right. Is that going to be included is in that, sales tax? Yeah, is that going to so be a yeah, new so, tax on so top it, of sales tax? Is it going to be only drivers? Right. Or is it going to be how how are yeah, these who, other who people? Pays that? Yeah. How are these other people that are using the same infrastructure because they're benefiting from the infrastructure? If they want, yeah. so they can't say they're not doing that. So how are they? How are they going to pay their fair share, which everybody likes to talk about? Right. You know how are they paying their fair share? What are they well, going to do? That's and and that just plays into 
people throwing out ideas instead of throwing out concrete solutions. And what are you going to We do? can come up with all the ideas in the world, but most of them you pull the smallest thread to it and it breaks down. And let's face here's another question. So what about, you know, the I-95 you know, class. They yeah. said 106,000 vehicles travel that road a day. 106,000. 106, Where do they get that number? I don't know. Well, they, they have all them road measurement things. Well, you know I, mean, I mean, if you see, you've got cameras all yeah. along the road so, and they're tracking. Let's just say it is 106,000. Okay. How many of them vehicles never delivered a single thing in Pennsylvania but went through it? Right. Exactly. How many of them vehicles... That, you're talking I-95. Exactly. That's the heart. That's the, it's a heart. That's the heart of the north and south. Correct. So... All those miles were that are getting traveled on those roads. Right. And if you're a truck driver, guess what? You're not buying fuel in Pennsylvania. Oh, fuck no. And you don't want to pay that tax. So you're, you're trying to so, make it. Exactly. So they're getting the use of the roads. Yeah. They're not putting a penny towards them. Yeah. And that, you know, that money's, they're never going to buy any fuel. Right. Because they have enough tanks that, you know, their tanks are big enough that they can fill up in one oh, state, yeah. go through the other before oh, they yeah. ever have to fill up. So we get no revenue there. Right. And you know, ninety five is a federal road, so we do get federal money there. To be fair, but yeah. that's minimal. Once they, you know, once they're routing around all that and they're on state state roads, how's the state going to make up for that? Are all the citizens just supposed to eat that money? Well, and that's just it. Currently, in its current state, everything is being directed off of a federal road and onto state roads. Exactly. So, I mean, yeah, that's exactly they've what's just, happening. They've just gone yeah. and put a strain on a state-based exactly. system. And the other thing is, you know, th this road, they're talking about taking months. Yeah. For, they said, I heard, for, I heard up to 40% of the GDP goes through that, that <laughs> on that road right alone. So now, so how, how does that the, take months? Right. I mean, let, let's get, let's be realistic. They can make them beams in, in a week, probably. Exactly. Get, you know, China builds that, China built a whole hospital. Right. And I think it was a week yeah. or a month. They've got, China has whole cities built that are just ghost cities just because they were keeping their, their builders going. Oh, exactly. Like, yeah. They, they well, just the, kept giving them shit you know, to the, do. The whole shit thing to is, build. we're going to, oh, we got to fix this road. It's so important, but we're going to, we're going to do all these bullshit studies. Exactly. And all this, we're going to get all this bullshit to get this done. Let's just get the guys in there. Exactly. Get, get them in there, get it fixed. This thing could be done in a month. Exactly. There's no reason it can't be done. Work 24 no, hours. Too many I don't care people. if you got to. There's you, too many yeah. people involved. If you got to put two crews out there working 12 hour days, put them the hell out there and get the road fixed. I mean, exactly. that's ridiculous. It's not. It shouldn't take months. No, no. That, that's completely uncalled for. It is, and it's just it's just all bullshit to slow the supply chain down. And it just shows. So now we can keep costs up. Right. Exactly. There you go. That's the only reason it's, for it. It's more. If it's it, that important, it was a convenient. It given the timing of the state of the economy. It was a very convenient infrastructure uh, collapse. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. It well, was, no, that, they said the guy drove that road route every every Sunday or whatever, deliver fuel. Okay. All of a sudden, he wrecks his truck out of the blue. Yeah. I mean, just that on. one Sunday. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I mean, yeah. Let's just wreck right under that. Wreck at the worst possible yeah. place you can. A very yeah. It's it, yeah. It it just seems like I said convenient. And, and then I mean, they said the G just, they said the GPS went off in the truck before the accident. Oh, that was in the news. Oh, so I'm trying to you know that yeah. that's convenient. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, uh, and of course, I mean, you got to watch. It. Like, well, you, you're going to have a very well crafted and uh, uh, orchestrated narrative. I mean, I'm sure they've already interviewed several of the family members about how upstanding of a oh, guy he was. Yeah, they, and all oh, that. absolutely. They've already got. Like the victim story yep. to be able to put I mean, it out there for people to focus on that while the actual shit that we should be talking about, the fucking, the, the ripple effects that it's causing, all that shit that we should actually focus on oh, is going to get and swept aside. They didn't want any, they didn't want any helicopters flying over taking video. Oh, uh, well, I mean, because, those flames were pretty high. Well, it wasn't because of that. It was no, because what of they the, the, Because of the person trapped inside there. Listen, that... that um, really? Yeah, that's what they said. They didn't want it, uh, something... They didn't want they, footage. Yeah, they want footage of that. Well, guess what? You didn't see nothing but but burned up stuff. You right. couldn't even differentiate the two things. What about these building collapses? Exactly. Don't worry about that. Everybody's they, they, in there taking pictures. Yeah, they, yep. they were, they were uh, full front. They were showing all these buildings. What about, the, what about when the Boston bombing happened? They had people all over there taking video. But you're worried about... What do you... What do you have? on TV. What do we got to take out from underneath there that we don't want anybody to see on video? Right? That's my question. What? Yeah. Yeah. The, the, that was a mess. And it was the only vehicle 
The only it's one. the only one that, that was, was the only one. There. Yeah, nothing else. It's, it's a high traffic area. Yep. There is six thirty in the morning. There's no other traffic. Oh, so oh it was that night. early. Yeah. I didn't even. Okay, yeah. see, like it was one of those six thirty in the morning, but there's no traffic. Oh. Not, you know, nobody was on I ninety five. Well, see, it's nice that they do these things in such a way. Remember um, the the RV explosion in Tennessee. Oh, the one you never Christmas. hear about. Yeah. The one that yeah. had a video. That yeah. had that had it was it was perfectly shot, well orchestrated. They had camera angles. I, you don't have that those kind of camera angles yeah. on a movie production. And then the one where the guy played the video to tell yeah. me to stay away because it's exactly. gonna blow up. Exactly. You know, Blared it out. They and always everything. do. They always do that. And then nothing. Yeah. Then it you didn't hear, hear nothing. The story. About that. There it is. Boom. It's gone. It's and gone. it was. There was a telecommunication center yeah. right there. AT&T and, hub. There's an AT&T yeah. hub there that had yep. a, apparently a back room that. Could be connected to these black sites that I mean. Who knows? Th- th- there's, there's a there bunch was, there of was, shit. There were people, uh, you know, talking about that's where the voting machine data was kept. All sorts of dumb. Shit. Well, hey, I mean, you know what? I'm just saying what they were saying. I right. Mean, I, exactly. You know, there's all sorts of nonsense going on with that. So who knows what actually happened? But I, I've yet to see a bomber that tells everybody to get away. Usually, right. they set bombs off to hurt people. Well, I mean, typically when you, if if, if Looking into the past of what they do government-wise, where they fuck with shit, and they go for the least amount of casualties, yeah. so they can kind of wipe their hands of yeah. the blood. I guess people, yeah, less people complain about it. There's less people. In there. Exactly. If there would have been bodies, then they would have started asking too many questions. Like, look at this, this I-95. Well, if one driver. He's the only yeah, one. Exactly. That's the, That's it. We're gonna wrap it up. We're just gonna focus on the fact that no, we gotta clean it up take and fix months. it. We gotta fix it. As we soon gotta as fix possible. it. We gotta yeah. put our heads down. Everybody's gotta go back to paying their taxes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I but, mean, yeah. You know, so I don't know. We gotta figure out something in this state though, because the infrastructure. I mean, how do you have eight billion underfunded? How do you how do you let the roads get that bad? Well, Pennsylvania is. Just if you look at the history of Pennsylvania, it's one of the most corrupt states in the nation. I mean, look at the kids for cash. Oh yeah, look that at was ridiculous. I, I mean, you can just go back, and it's it's one of those things where, okay, it happened in the past. It is going on now. You're not telling me that it's not just because we no, squashed it over here doesn't mean there's not something going uh, on yeah, over that, here. That was one county. They're just exactly just a little smarter about it now. If you it, it, it's to a point where in, in Pennsylvania alone, the, the amount of corruption that's gotten into politics, they shouldn't have a paycheck. Yeah. They should not be paid to do a public service that is of that scale to help the community around them. Oh, yeah. It shouldn't work that way at all. <laughs> it, that's where it needs to change. If you cut the salary out, well, then you get all these scumbags out. Well, no, you those, may they, get them. They don't care about the salary. They're making well, all their money up in the side deal. So the salary is nothing. That's a, that's. But that's where it keeps them in. It, it keeps does, them going in there. But I think that's it pe- keeps that's it funded. Two hundred two hundred fifty grand is pennies compared to the millions they're making. Right from the actual corporations exactly. that they're helping out in the. And long you know the term. Democrats are so anti corporate, but they're they're making more money than anybody on the corporations. Well, and that's just it. Well, it's it is. I mean, they both parties have always been of. A do as I say, not as I oh, do absolutely. mentality. No matter which way you look at it, and in that regard, I, I mean, they they even went so far as to flip flopping what they actually stood for. Oh, ex- exactly. Well, usually when they're saying that somebody else is doing something, they're doing it. Yeah, that's just the way it is. Oh fuck yeah! Well, I mean, it's all gaslighting. It's absolutely what's going on with, uh, especially the the hijacked woke movement. Where they want to claim that they're being bullied and this, that, and the third, but they're the ones who are shoving shit in people's faces that nobody asked for. They're the ones who are actually fucking bullying people into losing their whole livelihoods and shit like that. Whereas everybody got to a point of, hey, I'm just going to do me, you do you over there. But because certain people had a bad experience, we found a way to monetize that bad experience and elevate it in such a way to where this this backwards-ass thinking of the victim has become the bully. 
yeah. in oh, a yeah. weird well, fucking I mean, way. Look at this Pride Month. They had the they had that big that big thing at the White House. Did okay. you see that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you yeah. see what they did there? Yeah, yeah they disrespected yeah. the whole. They, I mean, they go right. there and they disrespect the whole country. Exactly. By flashing their breasts, their tits online. It's one thing to pull and, your titties out up in New York. Exactly. Or, but you're doing you it know, on the White House the lawn. The nipple. It, yeah. it is. It is that. It's yes. completely ridiculous. It, and, and, it's you one know, thing to do that, but it's. Judge your environment. Exactly. I mean, be respectful for where you're at. You you were given the the ability to go to the White House. Exactly. And you do dumb shit like that. And you and think it makes you, you look good? It makes you look like a piece of garbage. Right. You, you completely made the whole... Well, everything they, that was meant for, they made look like exactly. shit. Exactly. Because nobody remembers anything else, nope. but they remember that garbage. Exactly. That's what everybody's going to remember from that day. Absolutely. You know, it's, the only, it's the only reason that anybody even heard that there was an event going on at exactly. the White I didn't House. know there was an event going on there. No. I didn't, I didn't even know that... Was this a yearly thing they had, or... I didn't get an invitation. Just, was I this know. the first time they yeah, did it? Sure. Like... And my but, whole thing, like, you know, they have this Pride Month. Right. You know... So, are you only happy about you being gay one month out of the year? Well, it's the monetization of the cap. It, but, it's, I, it's, but they all buy into it. It's like, you right. guys are getting used. Yeah. So, we're only supposed to be happy about... You're only supposed to be pr- proud about yourself one month out of the year. But, but you you know, you want to talk about being inclusive. Yeah. And, and being included in everything and not being, you know, uh, section or... Uh, Excluded. Excluded out, yeah. yeah. But you exclude yourself... All but one month out of the year. Right. Well, it doesn't even make any sense. How would they do? What would they do if there was a white pride month? Yeah. How would that go over? <laughs> Look, that's that's I the mean, one month that doesn't exist. I mean, it's, just, it's but it's, I don't care what they do. Do whatever. Every, do, right. do whatever makes you happy. I don't that's care. Fucking lutely. You know, it doesn't yeah. matter to me. Yeah. I don't care what you're doing. Yeah. You're supposed to be. You're, you're you're in America. You're supposed to be able to do what you want as long as you're not affecting anybody else. And anybody that says they're affected by seeing somebody do something's a bullshitter. Exactly. They're just they're just assholes to begin with. Right. But do it all year. Right. Be happy about it all year. Don't right. don't ex- you know don't uh, exclude yourself every year you know every month but one month. Oh yeah. You know you're you're doing that to yourself. You're you're they're bringing they're putting themselves out. Well, all it is 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 it's helping. The corporation machine. Well, that's exactly. That's, well, it's, it's all. It's, yeah, like it's you said. all any of. It's all. It's all. Black History Month is for. It's all Asian Pride Month is for. It's. It's why they crafted. It's why they started with Black History. Yeah, and, the whole and thing. then it reverberated out to where every month is a thing for a, a specific group. To be able to keep the monetization machine rolling and moving. Exactly. And the other problem is, you know, we're so quick to, oh, I was picked on, I was this, I, well, guess what? 75 to 80% of people were picked on one time in their life in school. <laughs> Dude, I was the redheaded stepchild at you know, home. I was bullied in school. The problem <laughs> now is, you know, back when we were in school, if you got picked on, you, you, you ended up usually fighting at the duck pond. Right. And that was the end of it. And then you were best friends with the person. Right. Now you get picked on. You know, the bully punches you in the face. Yeah. The teacher doesn't see it. You punch the bully in the face. You both have black eyes, but you're the one that gets busted. Oh, absolutely. You, we got to take care of the bully. Yeah. You know, there's They nothing. cried harder. Exa- exactly. The bully cried you know, harder because you retaliated, but they only heard the bully because the bully spoke louder and didn't let you get a word in anyway. Ex- exactly. And now you're being punished. For just standing up for yourself. Yeah, you know, my kid was bullied. My younger son was bullied in school. And I told him, I said, listen, the next time that happens, you punch him square in the face. Yeah. And then if there's a problem, I'll deal with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it came to that point, And it's, the school <laughs> said, I said, listen, what's going to happen is if this happens another again, yeah. I'm just going to sue you because your responsibility is to teach them and keep them safe while they're in your custody. And clearly that's So if you can't do that. Yeah. I'll make sure. Well, guess what? That never happened again after that threat was made. Isn't that interesting? That fixed that real fast. Yeah. And, you know, it it wasn't like, I wasn't crying because he was bullied. Right. I'm just saying either he's going to deal with it. Yeah. Or you're going to deal with it. Yeah. One way or the other, it's going to get dealt with. Exactly. You know, so. That's fucking loop. But you shouldn't have to go to that extreme to deal with that problem. Right. You should be able to just live a, a, a comfortable life. But the problem is, the, is that you let the bullies get punched in the mouth a couple times, and they stop. And being they, they realize they don't want to be bullies anymore. Well, I mean, and that's kind of that's. I mean, if, if we honestly, if we did that with these politicians who are trying to do the whole victim bullying, oh where, yeah, well, you exactly. know what I mean. If, if I mean at this point, 
DC has spread across the nation. There is no way other than flipping the table all, all the way over and holding those who are currently in positions of power accountable. Well, they, they realize that there's so much money and power yeah. in this new woke, whatever well, you want to call it. I don't even know if it's woke. It's, is there? It's, is, is there? Well. I, that's the conflicting story. They believe now. there is. That's all that matters. They did up until 2023. And now well, 2023 has turned around and been like, well, I think woke went broke. Well, I mean, look at, I don't know. I don't think it did yet. I think I think they're still trying to, you know, squeeze every last drop they can out of it. Look at all of the systems. Everything is currently in the throes. It, it, it's death rattle all around. We are literally just surrounded by ancient people who are dying. But still trying to grip onto the power that well, they have. That's exactly it. You hit the nail on the head there. I mean, all you got to do is look at at Nancy Pelosi, or not right. Nancy Pelosi, uh, well, Feinstein. Oh, okay. Feinstein. Yeah. I mean, what's funny with Feinstein is you, you know who her handler is, right? No. It's Pelosi's daughter. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Who, that's who is. That's right. That's who's wheeling her around. Yeah. And helping her make decisions. <laughs> I'm sure she's a qualified nurse. Yeah, exa- exactly. <laughs> I mean, she's she's wheeling her all around Washington. Yeah. You know. Well, so and there you go. So it is. It's just they're already prepping the next generation. I mean, look, George Soros. But who just handed his yeah. fucking empire over to his son? Oh, is that what he did? Yeah. 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 One, one dirtbag to another. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's amazing. Yeah, I mean, it, and uh, it it all ties back to like I've been saying, the Rothschild. I mean, that stands for Red Shield. Yeah, that yeah. goes back to Knights Templar. What's I mean, other? so you're talking uh, fucking centuries long fucking shit of just we're 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 going back a long long time where this control scheme has been maintained. Oh and, yeah. Well, I mean, let, let's even talk about this inflation that they just dropped a number. What this week? Okay, talking about four per how it's, how it's down to four percent. Yeah, now it's so much better. Yeah, 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 but it's still double where they want it to be. Yeah, but now they're going to back off on raising interest rates, may, maybe. Right. And you know, I seen another thing today. You know, there's a surge of new mortgage applications. So the economy's coming back. Yeah, the, there's a surge because the interest rate dropped for yeah. mortgages. Yeah, it dropped from six point eight one percent. Yeah. The 6.77%. That sounds like a fucking deal to me. So the 0.04% has people running for mortgages. Yeah. They weren't going to pay a 6.81, but they'll pay a 6.77. I'm sure every real estate they're, they're, agent's phone is just blowing uh, yeah, off the hook. They're, they're, that's just surging. Yeah. I love how they how they try to spin the whole... The whole... Uh, the whole... Uh, uh, the numbers? Numbers the in their direction. Yeah, they, they love the statistics. Yeah. yeah, they love to spin the statistics. I mean... How stupid are people? What do they do? They just read the head. Most people probably just read the headline. They don't well, read the context of the story and to get all the it. bullshit out of it. Yeah. Well, and we've, we've whittled down the attention span, and then you give them a headline, they take that headline, and they just parrot the headline. Oh, That's yeah. it. It's just all about... And that's the NPCs. Not everybody's that fucking stupid. Not everybody... The thing is, is... A lot more people are paying attention, and it's not even that they're it's not even that they're stupid. Yeah, because even dumb people can read and figure that out. Right, it's just they're so preoccupied well, with that, all the shit they got to do in lives just to keep you know food on the table. That's where it comes into the NPC of it all, where they're in the matrix. They're they're tied up too much into the way things. I mean, look at the, look at the, the way co- things are. The look way at the college system. I mean, the college system cracks me up. You know, you, you'll give a student loan to. Somebody with no credit. Yeah. That has nothing. Fresh out of high school. Fresh out of high school. 17, 18. Six n- figure. 19 years old. Six figure yeah. bill. Six, yeah, six figure bill. Yeah. You're going to finance that damn thing for 20, 30 years. At least. They're going to, you know, they're going to end up being a fucking artist. Yeah. You know, they're going to get an art degree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're never going to fucking be able to pay that money back. Right. So then what are we going to do? We're yeah. going to cry to Uncle Sam. There you go. We need debt forgiveness. Yeah. We need this. We need our student loans paid off. We need to stretch them out. We need amnesty. Whatever you want to call it. That, you know, this bullshit they do. Yeah. But then you take the same 17, 18, 19 year old kid. Right. He decides, you know what? Or she. Yeah. I want to start a clothing business. Yeah. 
I want to start this business. Right. Something that actually produces. Oh, you do? An actual product. How much money do you need? Yeah. I need about 50 grand. I don't need 200 grand or 300 grand to go to school to be an artist. Yeah. Or a musician or a gender, whatever the hell you want to call it, yeah. whatever. I don't need 200 grand. I only need 50. Yeah. Okay. Well, how much experience do you have? Well, I don't have any. <laughs> I want to start this business. Right. Well, how long have you been doing it? I haven't been doing it. I want to start this business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, we need your tax returns for the last two years. Okay. I'm 17 years old. I don't have fucking tax returns. Right. And if I do, it's from working at McDonald's. Yeah. You know, part time through school because so you're lucky you can only work so many hours 35. when you're in school. Yeah. Exactly. Oh well, then sorry, we can't help you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we'll give this guy or this girl two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Knowing damn well that, it that they're never anybody. paying it back. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so we'll bury you with two hundred thousand dollars of debt. You that wants to start a business and be an entrepreneur, go pound sand. Yeah. We're not helping you out. No. And that's well, and that's how fucked the system is. It's where that's where we kept certain people's ideas going forward, but. There's this very stagnant middle ground where the college system, as it is, you go in and you're being taught by somebody who is just as broken of a person as you are. But they're instilling ideologies and shit like that where they're claiming to be an expert in their field. But all they did was get... Bullshit pumped into them oh, exactly. from somebody else. Yeah, mo like, most of them are unqualified. They just went to school. Well, look at dinosaurs. But they don't have experience. Look at fucking dinosaurs, okay? Let's, 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 let's. They went from being fucking lizards when I was a kid to now they're more like fucking birds where they've got feathers and shit like that. And the same scientists are trying to tell us both stories. Fuck you. You don't know what the fuck they had on them. You can't tell me. I don't even, I don't care what kind of fucking technology you can manifest in this life. You're not going to tell me what the fuck it actually looked like when it was walking on the earth based off of its fucking bones. Like, that's some bullshit story. That's you crafting a fucking nice story and then trying to perpetuate it as history. And that's some fucking bullshit. I'm not saying that there weren't large fucking creatures that were roaming this fucking plane of existence, but I'm saying that everything that we were told about them was just that. We were told a nice story. That's possible. Yeah. Uh, listen, I'm not an expert. I don't know. I'm not going to well, try to be an expert. I'm going to tell you this. There ain't no such thing as a fucking expert. That, uh, that's my feelings on the word expert. Because there's always new information. There's always a new way. There's to always somebody that's going to know more than the last person. Exactly. And that's just, yeah, I mean, it, calling yourself an expert that says you're not willing to change. You're not willing to grow. You're not willing to evolve as a person based off of what you intake, what you absorb from your environment around you. I mean, I don't know if I agree with that. I mean, the expert could be the one that does want to grow. Well, okay. And does want to make stuff better. Yeah. You know, so that's not necessarily true. Most experts. I'll say most experts. I'll admit so I don't know if I can agree with that. Most experts. <laughs> that I people who go around toting themselves. As I mean, look that. at these experts. Well, yeah. well, I will say, you know, you know these experts here. <laughs> that's a different story. You know, they're, they're not saying that they are always learning. They're always exactly. going to, getting the new stuff out there. So I can't really say that. You can't really say it that way. Okay. But there's always going to, you know, I think there's people who have made the phrase, the word expert into a bad connotation. Yeah, my, my, theory, my, my theory always was that if yeah. you're not growing and learning, you're dying. Exactly. So, uh, I like that. You know, yeah. that's the way I look at it. So, yeah. you know, I can't say that. Listen, they, they might be an expert in their field. Doesn't mean they're not going to learn something new. If their mind's open to learning something new, they can do it. Well, and that's that's the problem you have right But the problem you Most have nowadays... minded Well, that's the problem with, you know, this whole woke thing and yeah. even... Even people on the far right and the far left, that's the problem with them. Yeah. You know, that's the issue. Like I keep saying, you know, we need another third party because the people on the far, far left yeah. aren't the Democratic Party of the past. But they're the vocal minority. They're the vocal minority that screams yeah. the loudest. Yeah. And it doesn't matter what you tell them. Right. You're not going to change their mind. Right. And just the same way with the far right. Right. They're, they they yell, out, yell the loudest. I mean, yep. they just did it in, in Congress. They held up all sorts of good bills over bullshit. Right. You know, because they wanted, they, they got their panties in a bunch and yeah. they couldn't agree on something. So you got those people, you know, they're not the Republican Party of years ago either. The, you know, the Republicans and Democrats years ago, 
were open minded and figured stuff out. They were they were open to discussion. Exactly. They were open to meeting in the middle. Yeah, ex- because exactly. Because they were for the people. Yeah. Now you like you, now you get these people that are on both sides. They're just whack. There's they're whack for the corporations. Both sides. Exactly. That's what it's become. It's become for the corporations and for the dollar. Well, guess what? Dollar is dead. They killed the dollar by being for the dollar. I mean, don't get me wrong. They've given themselves carte blanche to be able to print for fucking two more years whatever the fuck they want in U.S. dollars, in U.S. currency. Like, that's what the fuck the debt ceiling thing did. Like, it didn't It didn't help us pay our bills. Now, we haven't been able to fucking pay our bills in a very, 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 very uh, long time. I mean, yeah, I mean that, it's, it's just a joke. That whole... We just were smart enough to set up a system where everybody else relied on our currency to pay their bills except, as well. Except, except on time. On time. Yeah. They got to pay their shit on time. Or everybody else that's within the system exactly. has to pay their bills on time. Exactly. You know, they just they need more money than just print it. The central bank. Right. But if you or I need more money, we just print it. Right. You know, now now it's against the law. Right. That's what, what was that? Uh, 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 oh, fuck. Counterfeiting? Counterfeiting, yeah. Pretty but sure. they counterfeit every day. Yeah. They're counterfeiting constantly. Every fucking time. Every time they print currency for the Federal Reserve, that is counterfeiting money. It is, And if you look, it's a... Uh, it, it, on the actual money, it's listed as a debtor's note. A yeah, note yeah. of debt. Yeah. It's not even currency. It's actually saying, hey, you owe somebody this. Like, basically. Or, or in a uh, roundabout way. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Well, your social security number is your debt. Right. That's, that's your, on the stock market. That, yeah, that's, that's being your, traded that, that, back and forth. That's your debt right there. Yeah. So, uh, the whole thing, even when they print the money, they printed, when they first printed the new $100 bills, yeah. the machine fucked them all up. And they ended up losing like three hundred million or something, and nobody knows what happened to it. Huh? It just vanished in a thin air. Well, speaking of that, like right before, a couple days before September eleventh, two thousand and one, uh, it was brought to the attention that I think it was two or three trillion dollars went. Yeah, it disappeared. And then nine eleven happened, and we never talked about it again. Yeah, we don't know what and, happened to that. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll tell you what happened to that. It's been funding all these black. Black sites, these these deep deep black operations that I'm not saying the direct U.S. government has been funding, but there is a branch that has taken over the actual. Uh, we'll, we'll call it the deep state. For lack of a better term, for what the fuck is already out there in the zeitgeist, we'll call it the deep state. The deep state has taken over, and they have been doing all kinds of fucked up shit that sounds a lot of sci-fi and a lot of fucking weird to a normal, everyday person. But um, they just had a disclosure event on Monday that is not being talked about. And weirdly enough, it's not about fucking little green men. It's about companies like Raytheon and BlackRock and the shit that they've been up to since at least post-World War II. And, I mean, if you look at it, there's even ties to the Nazi shit that was going on pre-World War II. Like, there's a group that was involved in that shit back then that was able to still be operating and still do what they're doing to where... Uh, they found some shit down in Antarctica back then, and then okay. created the Antarctica Treaty. Okay. And the experiments and shit that they've been doing down there is the stuff that you've seen in sci-fi movies and, and sci-fi when, shit. When did they drop this? Um, they uh, Monday, Monday, June twelfth. It was just the other day. It was about a three-hour conference. I, I, it could have even been longer than that. It was a lot of ex-military. What was it at? Uh, down in D.C., I want to okay. say. Uh, they did take everything to Congress then. All the information and witness testimonies, stuff like that. It's, they had like ex-Air uh, Force, ex-Marines who were doing things where they had interactions with 
these groups of people. Um, this one Marine, he uh, talked about going to Indonesia uh, after the earthquakes okay. for a humanitarian event where they stumbled upon, in 2009, a craft that was pyramid in shape, floating in above the air, and there was a bunch of what you would think, like they're uh, blacked out gear, you, you know, mercenaries, mercs. Right. You, you, you know what I mean? What you think of when you see them in movies yeah, from yeah, what yeah. was being described. <laughs> These guys were walking around in 2009 with phones that looked like what we have now. Okay. And so you're, you're talking anti-grav technology, you're talking... Uh, advanced smartphone technology in 2009, and then you just take that and you trickle it back, and it all starts to make more and more sense as to just what's been going on outside of the public scope of things, where they're conducting all kinds of experiments and playing with this plane of existence in just ways that they won't be fully open about, or when they are, it's in weird, cagey ways. Uh, one of the guys was an Antarctic Raytheon contractor who described his time back in 2010, 2011, where uh, he witnessed them building this system that puts sensors in the ice. Okay. And now these things can send out voltage to – they're supposed to be sensors. Okay. What are they sensing? Well, they're sensing the things that are flying around in the air. Okay. It's supposedly communicating where these things that our technology that we currently have access to, it does not detect. But when they turned this thing on, it was supposedly able to detect these vehicles and, that they have out there zipping around in anti – whatever the heck you want to call it. Okay. They, they, they do not fly based off of normal propulsion technology. Gotcha. Okay? Um, but he said that when they fired it off – it caused earthquakes in New Zealand. And really? there's, yes. And he has so proof. A, he have, has. You have, a link, to, you have it, a link to this? this. It, there's a YouTube. I, I mean, we'll, we'll put a link in the description oh, yeah, to yeah. Dr. Greer's conference. Okay. Um, but there is, it's, it's a very long. Uh, he does get more into the ET of it. Okay. But. The, the the Marines, the, 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 the Army personnel that present their stories, this guy, I'm not sure if he had any military experience, but he just – he said he was a Raytheon contractor, yeah. and he talked about what he did. This, and then at the end, they actually have a, a legal team that is trying to present – they're trying to do it the legal way. They're trying to work within the system, okay. but – they went through the gambit of charges they're bringing against. Who they bring the charges against? The they have they did not specify who. So when are they going? But be? these people are against the U.S. government. These people are. Uh, they were supposedly taking it that day or two to to Congress, uh, but there has been zero and when are they talk gonna, about any. When of are they going to start disappearing on major channels? When are they going to start disappearing? The fact that some of these guys have not is surprising. I mean, um, I, I get this vibe from Dr. Greer that he's in the right place, but at the same time, he may be controlled opposition because he does smell like CIA. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like when you do, and, and he's... He has a documentary out there that gets very woo-woo-y and into some things with the E.T. of it all. That's not the side that's important. The important side is the fact that the, U, the U.S. government has been helping to fund these black sites that have been – and now there's 150-some black sites – a majority are in this country. Yeah, yeah. And so there's experiments being done in this country that are the things that when you would see them in a movie, you would say, well, that'll never happen in real life. Oh, yeah. Well, usually the movies are like the precursor to shit actually happening. Exactly. Did you ever, did you ever see the, the dollar bill trick with the World Trade Center towers? Yes. 
Shit like that. Now that's freaky as shit. It's not even me. just that one. There's, yeah. it's, I'm just it's saying, that that's one. just one of them for an example, you know? They, they call it uh, predictive programming. Yeah, yeah. And, or, well, I mean, if you look at it from an occult side, it's called rel- revelation of method. Gotcha. Where because of the way they feel about the shit that they talk about, the shit that they try to pull off and do, yeah. they feel that they have to put it out there as a way of being like, well, we told you. It yeah. was here. Yeah, it was sure. actually we there. Before we did it. Right. And so it is one of those things where, I mean, in going forward, when you look at that fact, our infrastructure could be completely overhauled oh, yeah. with the technology well, that they have access to. We're so worried about our, you know, keep crying about the infrastructure, the infrastructure, the infrastructure. How many billions of dollars are we going to keep sending to Ukraine? Exactly. Did you see this battle in the last, this, this offense they just did? They lost seven, I think it was 17 Bradleys. Right. They lost 17 of them, got destroyed. Right. But the or Russians, it. but the Russians are losing. <laughs> exactly. The story is the Russians are losing. So but we lost that's seven. not checking. We gave them 90 some of these things. Yeah. And they lost 17 of them and they lost four leopard tanks in like the first week. Oh, uh, don't worry. We'll give them some more. Yeah, we're going to give we'll, them more. We'll it's give like. Them some more. Listen, I never heard like this yeah. has got to be the most idiotic counteroffensive in the world, right? And like, okay. I'll give you it. Iraq and Afghanistan almost made a molecule of sense to me. This one, yeah, well, doesn't we, fucking track. Yeah, but from we the trounced beginning. them. We took ground troop. You know, we took heavy armor in. Right. Again, but, they, those made sense. Yeah. This, but they're taking nothing. Heavy they're armor, doing about it makes yeah, any sense. It doesn't. Even, I don't even understand. It's like. Let's take heavy armor in yeah. to a fucking minefield. Right. Oh, shit. We, no shit. You put these guys in... Fuck, so, you put them in a mine... Why wouldn't you fucking send minesweepers in there or carpet bomb the fucking thing just to blow up the mines and then take the heavy armor in? Well, because they're they're trying to destroy our equipment. Yeah, that's exactly it's, what they're doing. It's and tanking then, our equipment. And then buy, they're, they're, you know, they're, they're purposely and, destroying our equipment, but doing it in such a way that they're saying... Well, we used it for what it was built for. Well, exactly, but it's like, you know, you have Biden's like, yeah, we gotta, we're gonna replace that right away, and then you got the, the Republicans jumping right on it. Yeah, we need to get them this equipment. Oh, no shit, your buddy's making it. Yeah, of exactly. course you gotta get it to them. Let's just bl- listen. We don't even need to give them shit. Just go in Afghanistan and take all that shit and give them that. There you go. There's lots <laughs> of stuff there. Yeah. There's billions of dollars worth of shit. We there. could have taken it. it. It was already right there. We didn't it's have to waste half, all the shipping. It's probably halfway there. Exactly. It was yeah. halfway there. Yeah. They could have drove it. Yeah. I mean, I don't, I don't get this though. Like. Why would you send armor into a fucking minefield? Right. You know what's going to happen. Right. I mean, these got these Ukrainian soldiers. They should be revolting themselves and say this is bullshit. Listen, Zelensky, well, you get the fucking this thing and drive <laughs> it across the fucking minefield. Let's see how you make out. Well, those it ones they, they're, they're signing up to go over to Canada. I you guess see, Zelensky. Zelensky, he's got he's got so much going on, but yet he can still offer up some people to go over and fight fires. Not only that, <laughs> yeah, he's got so much going on, but the fucking guys, he's out of the fucking country more than he's in it. Right? I mean, he's all over the place. I, I mean, this is ridiculous. You're not going to tell me if we were under attack right fucking now, right. Joe Biden would be flying over to fucking Germany or fu- wherever if the we fuck he's war. going. If right. we're, at, we're at war and you're the fucking leader of the fucking country, he's not even in the country. Yeah. I mean, those like those Ukrainian soldiers should be like, fuck this guy. He don't care about us. He don't even care about the country. He's well, he- fucking... Oh, photo ops. Yeah. He's fucking pu- he's Putin Jr. Yep. He's out there getting fucking photo ops and we're getting bombs dropped on us. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And then everybody's like, oh, come by y'all. We need to get him more equipment. Yeah. Well, listen, that little fuck shouldn't even leave the country exactly. until he either wins the war or loses it. Absolutely. Go, you know, don't be out parading all over the place. Right. You know, Taking time off to, yeah. to be on the fucking Emmys and the yeah, Oscars. Exactly. exactly. What the fuck? Bullshit. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and then he fucking walks around in his fatigues like he's one of the fucking mil- Shut the fuck up. You were an actor. Dude, that. Well, he's, he's, he's wearing his uniform. Exactly, he's wearing his character. It's he's ridiculous. Wearing, like it's they, they they went they they. I mean, they think even about went it. and one up the whole fuck. They just they they've got themselves an actor. They've got themselves a well orchestrated propaganda machine. If you and, took a fucking warlord out of the Congo and that motherfucker showed up at one of these fucking events right? where everybody's got suits on, and this fucker comes in with military fatigues on. Right. What do you think? How do you think they're looking at that guy? Exactly. It's like, come on. Dress for the part, buddy. You oh, like, absolutely. He looks like a he looks like a fucking clown. Yeah, you can't. Well, but that's a part. It's a part. 
part of the theater of it yeah, but he's got is to make the... him look more like he's ready for war and not like he's an actual fucking okay, president that's of fine. a country. But if you're ready for war, right. you're not even in your fucking country where the war's going on. Exactly. You're out greasing somebody's palm, jerking them off to try to get them to give you a couple more billion dollars. Exactly. And where's the money going? We don't even know where the hell it's going. Uh, it's going to Biden crime family. Yeah, pro- exa- probably. That's exactly where likely. it's going. Like, that's... It's, it's all it is. It's, 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 the, the current state over in Ukraine is just to keep the, the crime family that is using the Ukraine to launder all their money in power. I mean, look at the, look at the Nordstrom, too. They, they and blew human up. Trafficking. The Nordstrom, too. Yeah. That, Ukraine blew that up. Right. We knew they were going to blow it up. Yep. We told them not to blow it up. They said, fuck you. Yep. They blew it up. And then we acted stupid like we didn't know. And if it wasn't been for the whistleblower, we still we'd still be blaming Russia, right? But and and the the whole blaming Russia for shooting itself in the foot thing has got to stop. Yeah, exactly. And Russia is not like they are not going to do shit that's going to wreck their own that's infrastructure. Their, that's their money, exactly. That's really getting their money. Now look at the dam. Yeah, you know you know for sure that fucking Ukraine blew that fucker up. Oh, absolutely. There's no doubt in my mind. No. Then but they're, hey, they're then, gonna try and tell you that yeah. it was Russia. Then they're acting like, oh, these poor people, this, that. We gotta get them out of there, dude. You don't even fucking control it. Russia's under control of that fucking area. So what are you talking about? Exactly. And now they're talking about, oh, well, now they're talking about that uh, the the reactor is gonna. They're shutting the reactor yeah. down because yeah. they're not gonna have enough water. Yeah. When the two days before that, they said there was enough water for fucking almost a year in the fucking one settling pond they had. To keep this thing running, but now they got to shut it down. Within uh, two days, they changed their mind. <laughs> they probably have Jan- how convenient. Well, I, you know, I'm what sure they, it's related to something. No, they have Janet Yellen figuring the numbers out. I mean, how well she's at figuring numbers oh, out. Oh yeah. She fucking she the computer that tells her what she can't even read the fucking computer because she probably didn't have her reader glasses on. <laughs> she thought the five was a one. And that's just, it's fucking uh, that the amount of oh yeah we fucked up and then it just gets brushed off. Like, no, that's got to stop. The whole fucking, in general, it, it, from top down, we need to start at the top, pull the fucking brake, get it all cleared out, and get it readdressed with actual adults who have their community, their country, uh, their... The people's best interest. I think they need to We're make... supposed to be of the people. Listen, they should have a rule that... If you can't go to work without fucking depends on right or a diaper, you shouldn't be running. You're too shit. fucking old to run for office, right? That's the way I look at it. We we don't need any fucking deputy diapers exactly. out there. Fucking we have plenty of deputy diapers. Yeah. We don't need any more of them. No. Listen, enjoy all your millions of dollars you fucked us over and stole from us, Absolutely. and go fucking retire. Right? Why? Why wasn't getting to that that. Why do you need to keep adding the zeros? Exactly. Once the greed took you really over, so that's where you fucked money. yourself. Exactly. Yeah. They got away with it. By 2000, they should have all cashed their fucking shit, put their chips off, the, take their chips off the fucking table, yeah. and went away. Exactly. They couldn't. They ramped it the fuck up, yep. and they got it way more bloated and way more fucking obvious, and now we're all looking at them, and we're saying, hey, this needs to fucking stop. Exactly. It's ridiculous. I mean, we need to get younger blood in there. Yeah. Young, younger, new ideas. Absolutely. These old fucking, fucking ass ideas aren't working. No. We need young people in there that are going to come up with some new, you know, the, the new ideas that are out there that, that we haven't thought of yet. There needs to be a middle ground. There needs to be a middle. We can't go too young. Because oh, yeah, yeah, we, we, we've got the indoctrinated well, woke shit. That, that, that's, it that's, all that's, depends. You, See, you know, that, that's a, you bring that up. You can't go too young. You know, they had them kids that sued the... Uh, I, think they, well, I don't know if it was just, they didn't sue the ATF. To be clear, I'm not saying don't listen to the youth. I'm just saying don't think that we should just give them a seat at the table. Yeah, yeah. There's been a little bit of indoctrination that needs to be weeded out. You, you know, the right people need to be in the right position. Oh, well, yeah, that's where it is. And that's, that's where we, we've gotten. <laughs> listen, people don't want to do it. Those people should be the ones doing it. Yeah. Because you don't want to do it? You, you were probably more likely to not fucking do something that's going to hurt people. What do you have to be to be president? 35? 35. 35. So I've only been of age to be of that high of a level for the past two years myself. Well, see, what they should do, though, is, you know, you, 
they want you to have experience, which makes sense. I mean, you gotta have some experience, right? But then, in the same respect, why isn't there a limit on the age you can be when that should, so you should there should be an age, like sixty five? Absolutely. Because listen, at sixty five, and that's even that's even fucking pushing, that's pushing it. it exactly. Because you're supposed so, to be retired. If you, get it, if you get it, then then you're you're gonna be in until you're all by sixty nine, seventy. It depends what, yeah, it depends. Right. Well, if you become a senator, you're gonna be in there till you're seventy two. Yeah. You know, if you if you make if you, full term. Well, I mean, um, transfer out from. Oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, six years as yeah. a senator. So yeah. if you get in there at sixty five, you'll be in there to your seventy. What seventy seventy one? Yeah, seventy one. Yeah. But yeah, that's so, yeah. No, there, there needs to be a limit of like sixty something. Like because <laughs> these guys just I don't know. Yeah. That they are too out of touch with the actual reality of what the hell goes on. And right. And in every day, they don't know what the hell. Most of them know what the hell is going on. Right. Well, I mean, just look at the technology that's come about within oh, the I, even, last 10 years. Even the shit with me. Like, you yeah. know, I yeah. grew up just when computers were starting to be a thing. Right. And these younger kids are, shit, there's kids that are five, six years old can run a phone better than I can. Right. And that, that's because they grew up around it. Absolutely. I was growing up when it was just at the beginning states of all that. And trying to, to, to limit or, well, limit, limit is the route to go. Uh, not giving them any access well, that's just fucking putting them a step behind. Exactly, yeah. That's that's fucking yep. stupid. Saying, oh, I'm not going to give my kids technology until they're da 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 age. Well, you've gimped them. Exactly. You, you, you've already set them Listen, up for failure. If you, if you don't have technology, like you said, they're already going to be, they're, they're way behind. Right. They're it, gonna... I mean, at this point, <laughs> kids should have a fucking AI, AI class. With it, by the time they're hitting double digits, what? just so they can start the fucking that AI is a whole nother podcast. Yeah, um, there's a lot of shit to talk about about AI. Well, then I think we'll wrap it there. Yeah. <laughs> and I think we should thank Tori for getting doing oh all, fuck yeah all the behind the scenes stuff she does for us to make these podcasts even happen. Yes, Miss Tori is our resident. She's uh, designed our logos. She is helping us fine tune video. She edits. She does our marketing. Our sound, Miss Tori is doing she makes all, it all the things all behind the scenes. She gives it so us. all we have to do is run our gums. Absolutely. She makes it all look good. Thank you, Miss Tori. You're welcome. <laughs>